St. Louis Fed President Jim Bullard, out with some interesting comments, says the Fed's process of normalization is at an end. He calls it successful. He's the first uh, Fed guy to really declare this process over, though, of course, policy has kind of shifted away from it. That's the process by which they raised rates uh, to get to a certain level, almost independent of the data. Now, he says, Fed's data dependent, uh, future moves will not be part of normalization, and the Fed faces challenges from low inflation, uh, and it may miss the inflation target again in 2019. And because of this inflation problem, uh, Bullard says in any future moves, the Fed needs to tread very carefully. Uh, and needs to take meaningfully, it needs to take seriously any meaningful and serious move in the uh, yield curve and any inversion. Uh, finally, uh, Richard Clarida, uh, vice chairman, also speaking today, says U.S. monetary policy is in a good place, but says growth is slowing somewhat from the 2018 pace. He, he, he notes that foreign growth has been marked down. Uh, international risks, including uh, Brexit, remain, and inflation is muted. We got some data on that this morning. The uh, jobless claims fell to a five-decade low at the same time. Uh, PPI inflation, the core, fell. So here's that problem the Fed has. Tightening job market, but muted inflation. Uh, the core falling the 2% year on year from 2.3%. All of this, guys, fabulous fodder for the fabulous Sarah Eisen, who will sit down later with Federal Reserve Vice Chairman Richard Clarida.